Back home we go. Be safe, Gosman. Send to you. So how do you intend on... Yeah, I was about to ask, how do you intend on looking into these forgeries more? The man I had mentioned to that Sodom, Garrett, is someone the masked inquisitor is looking into. Hmm. The same man that I would only suppose has a hand in what has occurred with your father. Assumptions at that point. Wouldn't that mean it leads case, up to the same case I am. Hmm. You're gonna send these to him. And these are... <sighs> my orders. Believe it or not, the Inquisition, at least the ones here, are aiding in this. I don't fully believe that. One of them I shot, the other one. <laughs> Well, <sighs> Why do you trust that man? Because of the matter, I've known him since I was a child, Lord Erdhard. It's kind of hard not to. Regardless of the case, me and him are searching. Whatever he finds, he'll let me know, but... Well, do keep me informed. It'd be nice to know if someone's going to take another crack at my father. My concern is the fact that it is not so much Victor that is ordering these men. If Victor wanted done something done to your father, he'd do it by himself. It's the whole reason. Why he's here. He's here to apprehend the Urhard <coughs> and squat the rebellion. So why would he send assassins, let alone other people, to cause chaos? Because... <sighs> publicly, or at least in terms of politic, and politically, he can't. And you know that. That's to be the case. Victor's a great many things. He would not off your father just off a whim. He'd want to do it personally. These attempts on his life have been the very act to almost kill him, no? Every single one. An Inquisitor rides into town with the entire vendetta of killing my father and several attacks on his life by Imperial people start happening and you say it's not that Inquisitor. Every time Victor has come face to face to your father, have you not noticed that it is he who wishes to bring him in? He who wishes to bring in Lord Erdhardt. Why would a man such as Victor Van Gaal, the man who won the war against the Three Kingdoms, send some one-off Imperial soldier to execute a man of such renown? That would gain him nothing. You he can't... have no claim to that. You can't tell me he's not the leading suspect. Who else would be that fucking intent on killing him? I don't know. But I have the right coin to believe that it's not Victor and it's not the Masked Inquisitor. Like I stated before, long ago, there are other Imperials in Palamon. The Vipek. What games they're playing, I'm not sure of. Well, keep your friends close, I guess. The one I have, I sure will. Never fucking easy, huh? Right. I'm sure you'll speak with your father about everything that occurred here. I will. I'll leave the rest to you. Have a good day, Major.
can check through the merchant skills as if I can find any purple dyes. Maybe next time or tomorrow. But uh, I get no what do you make of this? <sighs> some darkness <laughs> right i don't know why they built everything out of white stone here it's the most reflective fucking uh, all right you notice his eyes are bloodshot oh you poor buddy <clears throat> i hate flash powder i really do what happens <sighs> the murderer in the streets the stefano and investigator had been looking into Apparently, Harry decided to confront him <clears throat> without giving any proper warning to us. So we had to put together a harsh podge of whatever we could to apprehend the man. Stefano's taken over the, the investigation from here. He managed to escape on a horse, but... More peasants fucking up military operations. Exactly. Yep. Been there. But, anyways, on the topic at hand. It's concerning, to say the least. I think the Major has some ground to work with. It would make sense in his way, from everything I heard about Victor. He's a very prideful man. I know. Vindictive in nature. Yeah, I know, I just... If anything, you'd want to capture your father to do it himself. I don't know what's worse, knowing that but... Victor's the one trying to kill you, or an unknown threat. It's not surprising, really. A th what your father is, is a, r a seed of a reminder that the Gewen lords still remain. Any imperial interest that's invested into Gewen during this time of these 20 years would consider him a threat. Hmm. Well, at the very least, we've supposedly got the garrisons working together again. That area is becoming more and more dangerous as time passes. There's a fucking Cyclops there. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fucked. Well, I mean, reports recently of orc attacks. The town was nearly lost. Yeah. We don't have many men to spare. Can't keep losing garrisons like this. This is some clearly some sort of set. Ugh. My words, that, that damn powder did something to my mind. <laughs> Ugh. There's hands of shadow at play here. The amount of attempts at your father's and your life seem to be only mounting. <clears throat> But it's imperial, but not our imperial. It's a different imperial group. <laughs> Fuck me. That would mean that there's an imperial group that has inserted themselves in this place when the reinforcements most likely arrived. Definitely sounds it. They keep talking about radicalists and blah blah blahs and whatever and... There's two types of imperials. We can fucking barely handle one. 
Uh. In my mind, they're all part of the same book. They all have their own selfish interests. Yeah, I said that too until... I don't know. <clears throat> Dario seems to think differently. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the Major is not a true Imperial. Which makes me think. Oh? He said he knew this Master Inquisitor his whole life. Dario wasn't an Imperial his whole life. Now that is an interesting thing to say. Hmm. Tari was a guard captain in Adwick his whole life. I would never imagine an Inquisitor rising up from an Arlandi. It sounds far-fetched, but I don't know how else Daria would know someone I... from the Imperium. <clears throat> I... it sounds almost impossible. I mean, look at the state of Ireland it's in. In its current state. Most of the populace who are involved in the war, unfortunately, that were in the domain of the Imperium, were killed by the Green Death, for as far as I could tell. Any of the survivors, it's hard to say how many did survive. If if he was... If he's an Inquisitor now, he must have been... And if he was uh, an Arlandi, it must have been before all this. Ha There's no way you can move up the ranks in the Inquisition that quickly, right? It would have to be before all of this. <sighs> if it is so much simpler to the same way of uh, my own order, it's not something that can be done within the span of a few years. <clears throat> it takes a lifetime of dedication, study, and practice. Exactly. It's not something you can just pick up and wear. I don't know. Too many questions. But it's interesting to think about. Maybe we don't know so much about Dario as we thought we did, or... Maybe this Inquisitor is... <sighs> maybe that would explain why he's different. Or maybe the Major had ties to the Imperium that we were just not aware of. Exactly. Is that a possibility? Possibly. I mean, that's what I mean by maybe we didn't know How about else would he? <clears throat> How else would he attain a position of Major as an Aralandi? It's been, what, four years? Five years? <clears throat> Something like that. Dari was in Adwick How else would he be able when it to... fell, yeah. To survive that. I mean, even if you're tough. To survive that and then move up into the ranks in the Imperium. That's not something you can do easily as well. He always hated you the Imperium. You would need some sort of favors. Even now, he talks <sighs> about how much he loved his CEO back in Adwork. I don't know. Yeah. Understanding a man like that, I. Just strange as all. My opinion, you don't want to understand that man like that. I suppose not. Not really worth my time. <clears throat> not worth your time, and also dangerous. Yes. Anyone the man's thoughts that are called a butcher is best left to their own. Yeah, I saw what he did. We won't figure anything out here. I have to go speak with Stefano, and it sounds like someone's at the door. <sighs> you know, one of these days we need to rig up that crossbow trap. Next time someone opens the door. Oh, I'd be loved to do it. And I'd like to take one of the hot irons from the, the blacksmith to see someone come through and just have a little, <laughs> little slit and stab it. We could, like, heat up the door handle so that when they grab it, they pssst, burn their hand. Oh, that's even better! I love that! <laughs> we should totally- Knock, 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 knock. Oh! 
Ah! Hello. What do you need? I will leave you to this, my lord. I'm off to go and deal with my other pains in my own eyes. <clears throat> oh. You okay? That's the luck. Um. Uh. Your dad's home by chance, or is it just you? It's okay if it's both. It's just me. Okay. Can we go in and talk real quick? Sure. One day I would like to deliver news of, by the way, there's this delivery of puppies and I don't know what to do with them. Here you go. Unfortunately, all I have is stressful stress for you again. I'm sorry. We'll add it to the pile. Mm. Okay. Well, um, you know those guys that are out there, the big ships, the war wharf people? Mm-hmm. Well, they're the ones that uh, filled my ship full of holes. They are council official ships. Mm hmm. It is of the war wharfs that were the ones that were. Chasing the sunfish into the storm and blew us full of holes before we <laughs> fell apart in the waters. Um, I'm just giving that a heads up to you since, um, you know, just seeing them is bad news if they're looking for stuff. If they're just doing business, then that, that's perfectly fine. But, like, um, just a heads up that, you know, seeing them is giving me anxiety. Okay. Um, yep. I'll do what I can. I'll That's keep you informed like... if I hear anything of what they're doing. Because they're probably here to talk to the Redards. Now that everything's settled okay. with the war, oh, I doubt they're awesome. hunting you or anything like that. So just keep your head low. Probably not. It's been months. It's been <clears> like, what, six or seven months at this point? But, um, just, you know, if you hear the sunfish... You didn't hear the sunfish, you know? I understand. <sighs> Just keep your head low and I'll fill you in if I hear what they're here for or anything like that, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Appreciate it. Um, and I was going to ask for a lock for my door, but apparently someone's already got that handled, so we're good on that front. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything you need of me? Any leather work? Anything I can help with? <laughs> can I, I walk around at night time and be helpful? <laughs> I think I'm okay for now. Didn't you get a large order this morning? I did actually, so yeah, I'm kind of overbooked right they, now. But I'm just double checking that I can't help you. Thanks. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I'll be okay. Yeah. Just a lot of the stuff I'm dealing with is politics you know <clears throat> yeah glad it's you and not me but i'm still sorry it's you i wish it was i don't know scum and villainy and crime i could actually get in there and get my hands dirty but it's just politics and nobles and jumpy fucks and <clears throat> Imperials just Oh the Miss Mama Boss spilled wine on my dress stuff like that. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that, yeah, so less uh, dainty words. Nah. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Well Thanks for the offer though, Torty. It, it means a lot. I'm always here to help. I know. <sighs> okay. Oh, well. Anyway, I suppose I should continue that very large order and hope that they finish it. You know how, uh, like, it, it's like getting a huge order for leather chess pieces from the guard is giving me flashbacks of the worst kind? <laughs> I was standing yeah. out outside the arena with Tiberius, and I turned around, and there was a line of guards there. And one turns to the other and says, Five spears. 
And I'm like, I'm about to be fucking arrested or killed. And they're like, hi, we'd like to place an order. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I felt it, like, right <laughs> in my chest. Yeah, I know yeah, how you feel. Don't, don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. flash powder ready. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Last time, man, they were beating the shit on me and pulled the sword out. <laughs> Make sure you get the custody on the dog whistle or something, you know? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Well, yeah. if you need me, okay. find me. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Sounds good. Same to you and stuff. Stay out of trouble. See you around. Yeah. I'm fucking doing my best, man. This is my best. <laughs> <clears throat> Be right back, chat. <clears throat> I see a ship in the harbor. And if it wasn't for your misfortune. Do you know when your father will be back? Fuck me, no. Okay, just figured I'd ask. You and like 12 other people. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, there he is, there you go. 
What do you mean, there he is? There you go. There's like a million people asking for you. Um, him, Markle, Torti. To um, I need to feel you on what happened at Corsetto. He wants to have that talk. What talk? That, uh, letter he left. Well, I left on your desk for him. About him. I didn't get to it yet. <clears throat> but it'd be important, Roth. Very. Yesterday morning, Vizier was taken up to the vineyard, cut Ooh. by Sarkozy's men. Who the fuck is Vizier? He's the vinter at the, at the vineyard, and he's been my main contact inside. This is news to me. I didn't even know this man existed. Yes, well... He's the one who wants to basically get rid of Sarkozy from the vineyard. Some no-name Vinter is the one who's behind removing Sarkozy. That's fishy. Yes. For the most part, he gathered up, he's the one who gathered the nobles, had them all agree, and then he pulled me into this as well. <clears throat> and suffice it to say, the head guard of Sarkozy's men knows that Vizier is up to something, but I have the feeling that he doesn't know exactly what. Oh, okay, um... <clears throat> Not quite following, but I think I get the gist. The past few days, Vizier has been basically scared for his life because this one man who keeps telling him that I know you're doing something and I want you to stop or else it's your head. I don't think he has any heart proof. He knows that Vizier's been meeting with some of the nobles here in Nautis, but I don't think he knows what about exactly. Why does this vizier have so much influence? Or a vinter? He's Sarkozy's right-hand man. There's even more reason to be suspicious of him. What, are you just working with this man? Trust me. I was com completely untrustworthy of him, too. But if all the nobles up in the keep are able to agree with him, he has to have some pull with them. Agree with him? How many nobles has he pulled into this? This sounds like sedition. At least four, but one's backed out now. The uh, the the seer, I believe, is his is his title. What are these nobles planning? They want the event. They want the vineyard returned to Nada's hands. I'm sure. <clears throat> They're losing a lot We've of seen... money because they keep exporting it out to We've not Nada's products. We've seen like here, Ro. They don't care about the dynasty. What's their angle? They're losing money. That's the big thing about it. They've lost golds of profit from because this vineyard keeps exporting off to the Pecta land. I don't like how involved in this you are. I feel like you're telling me for a reason. What is it? I don't think Vizier will say anything that will implement any of us. Me, any of the nobles, anybody else who is involved in this. But if I want to have him make a stand at regaining my name, becoming a noble again, it starts here. 
starts here with a meeting with the no with one of the barons to have him agree to make me the proprietor of the vineyard. That means money coming back into Nautis, into the coffers of the barony, and then more money into town. And what exactly are you planning to do in all of this? I want to see if I can try to either talk to Sarkozy, see about releasing him, give him some kind of false truth I can rely on, or break into the vineyard to talk with Vizier. Break into the vineyard. Do you understand? If you get put on the other end of the legal system, it is me you have to answer to. I do. And I cannot show you favoritism. And I know that. Am I the only one who feels like this is bad shit? <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Let me recap this just so I understand. Some vimter out of fucking nowhere approaches a brewmaster inside of town and conspires with him to overthrow his master. He then brings in other nobles, just happens to have the influence to approach these nobles and then bring them into a plot that could very much blow up in our faces and be blamed on the Radards, by the way, for plotting against Palamon interests. Am I, am I getting this right so far? Yes. And the end goal is... My seizure of the vineyard and coin back in the Radad's hands. The Vizier has some kind of ulterior motive he has yet to tell me, but, I but the man feels for the people of the vineyard. They all trust him, they all know him. And he's tired well, of seeing how they put the to work. You are plotting sedition. And what you're doing can be viewed as treasonous. Because it puts the Radod dynasty in a bad light. You are breaking the law. <sighs> I want these nobles' names. All of them. They're all in the letters I've sent you. Is that all of them? Are you sure? Outside of the one that's backed out, yes. I want the name of the one who backed out as well. He is in there as well. Excellent. What are you meeting again? There is no other meetings at this point. Vizier is still locked within the vineyard. <clears throat> Then this is what will happen. My son will assist you in getting contact with your man, however necessary. And you will have this vizier schedule another meeting between all your nobles. And you will tell me when this noble meeting takes place and where. And then what, you intend to arrest all of us? I intend to have them all executed, yes. Be grateful you're not on the list. I will speak no further about this, Lord Jihin. Then you can forget about calling me Lord Jaheen, because that will never happen if this continues. I will not be a supplicant to you breaking the law. You are embroiled in sedition. 
I should have everyone involved hung. I'm already overlooking your involvement! Do you understand how bad this looks on the dynasty that this could be the very reason given to the Repex to invade us while we're weak? You are giving them the political reason to come in and conquer us. If this goes awry, if there are loose ends, and there will be, if you think they're going to hand you, do you really think these nobles are going to give some no-name fucking brewer the vineyard? Think! Do you really? Of course not, especially in this horrible nation. <clears throat> I believe they are what you would call loose ends, bro. And you had best consider them that before they consider you that. We'll get to your conversation with this vizier. But that's as far as I'm risking anything. Does no one else in this province think? <clears throat> Not like we do. Who do they think I am? Arnolf, I'm involved in treason. I need you to help me. What? You did tell him to tell you everything he was doing. <clears throat> Yes, but I didn't think he was going to come and tell me that he's busy plotting what could be the downfall of not only this shitty province, but us! Yeah, I told him to keep everything above board and <laughs> to slow the fuck down and he didn't listen. <clears throat> you, f you follow that man. And you make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. You make sure he adheres to what I fucking told him. As he plays his cards right, maybe things will work out in his way. But he cannot jump the gun. Yep. Hurry. Well, yeah. Shorty. Yeah? Clifford, where'd he go? Uh, the, towards the tavern. Oh, is that Basil or Gabon's looking at there? Nope, nobody's there. You want food? I can give you if you need me. No. <sighs> you need to talk to the people. It's okay. But, um, let's see, you don't have much <laughs> adventuring going on. I'm okay, you know. Yeah, no, me too. I, I had to deal with orcs back-to-back -back yesterday. It was fucking pain. 
See the brewery door open. I'm trying. The one where uh, Kali and Claudia went out together to fight Lord. Oh. Didn't know about that. What are you planning? Wow. Well. You know, I'm not too sure I really want to be talking to you right now. I don't particularly care. Terrible. You've already, your father has already decided to throw everything that I've worked to up to this point into flames. I told you this from the fucking get-go to keep it above board. And it has been so far. Everything about this has been above so far. You understand how this looks to the Marshal, right? And to me. When you present it like that. Then put me in change and hang me in the morning. But as far as we're, as far as this is all involved, we're done talking about it. You can tell he's hurt and afraid. Really long Same as everything that you and Arn are working towards. He's trying to as well. He slams the door, avoiding eye I contact. A drink. I'm alright for now, thanks. Have you, been? you don't think in a million years that Arn would string up, bro. Even now, you'd probably make an excuse. But this kind of risk has to stop. You feel like your father has a plan, but you're not sure what it is. On behalf of a panini? No, I wouldn't deprive you of it. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm, I just ate enough to make sure I wasn't going to die of starvation. I'm not exactly hungry. Hmm. Yeah. Last I heard, we ran out of lumber because we didn't have no woodcutter. Mm. Uh, what's happening right now? Do we have woodcutters? Yeah, they've been coming in, yeah. Hey, Arn. Hey, Arn. Hey, Arn. Hey, Arn. Hey, Arn. Hey, Arn. I've met a couple. Yeah, I met a couple who were, like, interested in going to the logging camp and setting up, yeah. <sighs> it's like a week Dude, ago I'll, I met them. I'll even help like I did last time. Is not listening like a... a trend among the people here because I feel like it is mm, some people listen too much some people don't listen at all I think other people are stealing listening powers you were so close to sounding incredibly wise then <laughs> sorry it's nature balancing out if you had, like, right. stopped talking for the last third of that, it would have been amazing. See, and some people talk too much, and some people don't talk enough. I see. I am the former. Mm-hmm. No, Wait, like hold on. Bad. I got something. Hold on. Actually, Marco might be able to help with that situation. He is. He. Well, if he's leaving or if he's just getting back, you might want to triple check with him. <laughs> I think he just got back. Thank you, Tolti. You are welcome. And if you're not hungry, you at least look a little happier when there's an orange near you, so, you know. 
I used to be cool and mysterious. <laughs> and then you became a lord. How is that? How is that man so damn rich? He must have gotten it over time. You know, they live long. Is it the lunacy? Is that the lunacy that makes you <coughs> handling business? It's getting anxious when I see groups of mercenaries, you know. Going into the mercenary building. Oh, well, just groups of mercenaries in general. You don't know what they're getting paid for. You have survival instincts. I have. Oh no, where's Basil and Stinks? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Gotta handle something. Thanks. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. See you around. Need help? I don't think oh, so. I see. I don't know where Vizier is being kept, most likely within the vineyard itself. My first plan is to have a meeting with the Lord Sarkozy. As much as you might not like it, Vizier is still embroiled in a charity within Nodith itself. He's at least part of that much. That is all legal. It's organized with Marin and myself. He even has an office at the seamstress if you need to search his things. If I can't talk to him that way, then the next option would be to break into the vineyard and find him. Works for me. <sighs> I think I heard tale of something happening tonight, I think. Cade and others are planning on heading out, and he asked me to join that, join them. I'll probably be gone for the evening, maybe even the next day. I don't know when exactly it's happening. Where are you going? But after that, once I return. This is something I shouldn't tell you, but... Keep things clear between us. This Memelorian. <laughs> this is under the request of the Institute. This isn't something Cade would have asked lightly to have me join. Since when do you give a fuck about the Institute? Since when do you listen to the Institute? I don't. But no matter how much he changes or where he goes or his alliances change too, Cade is still a friend. And after the horror stories I heard down there, he needs a capable blade. You have a kid, bro. Yeah? And you don't think I didn't know that when I walked into your house and told everything to Arn? I think you were expecting help when you said that. <clears throat> Not him to do what he did. Well, I was at least hoping that if it came down to me actually breaking into that place, you would at least give me a good reason not to. Your kid should be that fucking reason, bro. But I digress. You don't think I'm not... <laughs> when has Arn ever led you astray? <sighs> He's not going to be here for me every time. You're not going to be here for me every time. If I can't forge my own path at my own will, then I am nothing more than a soldier. Then I'm a soldier, then Arn's a soldier, then Cade's a soldier, because we did all of that with the help of others. 
It's if I want to actually be somebody in this country, I have to learn to be for myself. It's fucking lonely at the top myself. row. You and need you people think I there. Don't know that? No, you don't. Twenty years. Twenty fucking years I known that loneliness. I held that loneliness in my fucking hands when I buried my parents in the ground. It's a different kind of I've been lonely so. all my life. You keep walking this path and pushing yourself to get to a point haven't stopped and thought, what happens when I get to this point? What happened to the nobles who got me there? What, what happened to those nobles who got me there that I don't know anything about? He was right, loose ends. If you're too target focused on where you're going, you're gonna lose everything else around you. You're gonna lose your support, you're gonna lose your friends. When you get there, if you even get there, by some miracle you're not stabbed in the back, you're gonna look around and realize it's still just you. I'll look after the kid when you're gone. So that you come back. When you come back, I'll handle the vineyard stuff. You tell me when you get back into the city. You'll be the first to know. Good. Where's the kid? <clears throat> She's over there in her crib. I'll get her settled in the house. I'll get her. Veteran left behind a few things for her. I am sorry, but... When you guys do leave... I'll most likely will be alone. I will not have a lot of people I can't count upon. This is why you need to- I can't carry this- If I can't carry the strength to at least press on on my own, if not for me, at least for her, then I don't have the right to be a lord at all. This is exactly why you need to be careful about who you get embroiled with on the way up. And I understand that. 
It's not like I haven't seen that side of Gradia near in my entire life. I know. Which is why these quick movements why... that you're doing makes me nervous. It's not like I've hadn't had the time to take things slow. To everyone else, it looks quick. Nodis is not the... Especially the nobles. But when you have four of the most powerful men in all of Nodis yelling at you, things need to move faster. It's kind of hard not to agree with them. It's because they don't have your best interests at heart, Ro. It's not like I didn't see that from the beginning. <clears throat> Better fucking come back. Mr. Brunswick, do you have a Don't moment? Don't plan to stay in a hole. Oh, I can. There you are. Um, have you seen? Uh, oh, there's Clifford. Oh. He was needing something from me. Um, but I didn't want to let you know, uh, Lord Connor. Uh, the Wood Elves went near the falls again. The orcs had. What was left of them? A bunch of peasants, it looked like. They were dumping again. Um, we cleaned up and burned the bodies in. Uh, one of my wood elves dispatched a lot of the green orcs and goblins. We burned the bodies, but it's the ground's still tainted, so I'm gonna have to work on something on cleansing the area, or the river's gonna get more and more poisoned. So I'm going to be working it on that front, but I just want to let you know that they dumped a bunch of civilians there. So, again. Yeah. I don't know where they come from. I don't know if they came from... Refugee camp. You know, so... Yeah. I can't say for certain because I didn't find anything. I was looking for anything on their body that would identify them, but there's nothing. I was there yesterday. They must have plundered them. The refugee camp got overwhelmed. It's not surprised that they suddenly have a bunch of civilian corpses. Okay. I just, I just want to make you aware of it, Lord. Thanks. Be safe. You're welcome. All right. And you want to speak? Uh, yeah. In case I end up going with Kate and the others down to you know where. Good. I like to have a person to take with me. Hello again. Let's just try and work on that text in time that they took on the new tab. Pretty bright. Pink down stone or marble? Oh. Yes, yes, sir. Crenshaw catch.
Evening, Aka. Everything okay? Good. I'm guessing you deleted that bag. It's a baby, actually, but yes. Mine now. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> what a fucked day. Lord Erdhart. Yeah, help with the war. Mr. Morgan. I checked out the route earlier. It seems pretty straightforward, but it's going to be pretty rough. How rough are we talking? It's real narrow. Clear shot across the river for any kind of archers or anything like that. Well, luckily, we're moving stone, right? We could offset the carts if we're careful. <clears throat> Line the bottom floor with stone and then stack most of it on the right side. Mercenaries in it can use a stone for cover as they transport it. Fire back. That should work. However, it's going to have to probably... Uh, I don't know how much stone you're moving. More or less, remove about a third of the surplus from each trip. It'll be slower, but safer. Mm. 
Maybe we have the first couple of runs the orcs will give up, hey? I'll be honest, Michael, my fear is that they have a troll come and hurl rocks at the fucking things. Yeah, that would be, uh, that wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't. I'm not sure what to do like about that. Anything like scares orcs? <laughs> yes, actually. A cyclops. Oh, we have one of those. I wouldn't say we have one, but there is one, God, I hope one I've been told. I wonder if they're reason. <clears throat> they, I wonder if you can reason with it. You know, be like, "Hey, you want to? You want to have a good time, buddy?" Are you mad? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Sounds like you're mad. Well, Mister Markle, I think uh, trying to reason with a mythological creature aside, we might have to find another way to deal with trolls trying to destroy our caravan. Yeah. Lord Marshal, if you have a moment. Yes, it of is course. Fairly important. Speak in private. With Tang. There is a ballista ready that's to be mounted on the wall. Perhaps if we can speak to the guards and convince them to let us put it in one of the wagons. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. Could help. See if you can make that happen. Well, lady diplomat. <laughs> Shall we speak in mm. my boat? Yes, please. Temporarily. It won't take long, but I just need to make you appraised of something. I assume it's alright if my son comes along? Yes. Yes, please. Very good. <clears throat> Ludwig. Say that. Erwin, you're with yes. me. Yes. <clears throat> You know, normally, it's hard for me not to be forging. <laughs> Today has been every time I've switched into the forge clothes. No? Pull it somewhere. That's okay. Just going over the, the atmospheric, taking it out on the metal kind of thing, but I like this better anyway. <clears throat> We <clears throat> say again. I was talking to myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> you want Erwin in here for this? Yes, Erwin can enter. He is trusted. But you're gonna have to come with me on this venture, along with him. Yeah, Got a very lovely letter this morning. Is from the Scarecrow Commander, Riel. He has my Still horse. Around. He told me where to meet him to collect it. For whatever reason, I don't Arnold. know, but thought I would inform mm. you. As you look at the parchment vellum, you can see that there is a cracked, generic red seal, and you would read the letter as written says thus is it destiny or else do i come across the moonlight in the notice we reach but a familiar face by the name of stefan perhaps it is the hand of god come outside the town walls tonight along the north road 15 minutes after sunset and you will be returned to your custody sincerely yours yeah I don't think I need to explain to you, you're not going by yourself. Obviously not, but... <coughs> the I just... know if you have any chance of wanting to apprehend this literal terrorist, then this is the only chance you're going to get. 
I want you to get your QRF ready. At least five riders, all the swiftest horses. I myself will bring a handful of infantry. We'll box them in. Let your meeting go. Make it look like you weren't alone. We'll see if we can capture these bastards. Lady Heidemann, do you think I will let you be captured a second time? No, I mean... I will be there alone, meaning I am easily taken hostage. Then what? <clears throat> You're taken hostage, then I'll have to take the risk, won't I? That is if he's there. I find it rather if. awkward and strange that he didn't mention that you need not bring anyone or don't try anything funny in this message. It's almost as if he's predicting I will do just exactly what he wants to do. It is very strange that he'd write it as such without any warnings. We're dealing with the terrorists, Lady Heidemann. They'll do anything they can to conceal their actions or make you think that you either know what they're up to or that you're one step ahead. I am not going to allow you to wind up in their hands. <clears throat> so, what is the plan? You want me to meet him 15 minutes on the north road outside of town? Yes. I will have a contingent of infantry, and my son will have a QRF of cavalry ready. And I want your Imperium to have their two best riflemen. In case you are taken hostage. Okay. Let's see you on that way. Everyone. If this is what you think is the best plan, then we'll go along with it. We'll get Owen and You may go with her, Ludwig. The law. Oh, bloody good shot, Lady Hardiman. <clears throat> if she shows up completely by herself, they'll absolutely suspect something. So you will accompany her. I will do so. I will find the that other. is what you'll do. Erwin, collect the other sharpshooter. Mm. You will <clears throat> take after the marshal and ensure that you listen to his directive so you know where you're to be positioned. Yes. Close, but not close. Mm. Inform Sanders as well. Will do. Your rifleman should probably stay on the right flank where the highest ground is. Likely where the scarecrows will keep watch as well. You might walk right into them if you're careful enough. Infantry will be on the road farther back, ready to move up if necessary. Cavalry will be on the left flank along the shoreline. So we can hit them hard and hit them fast if they try to flee. They can't all have horses. Make no mistake. <clears throat> Even if there's such risk, just remember Stefan is just a horse. If you need to shoot him, then shoot him. If you need to cut through him to get to an enemy, cut through him. He's an animal. And as much as I love him, as I knew him since he was a year old, 1,500 people died, and he's just a horse. Yes. Okay. Lady Alright, then we know our prerogative 15 minutes after dark. I will walk with Ludwig down the north road with a lantern or a torch. And I will meet him there. And whoever else he decides to bring. I'll make it very, very good. distinct and bring a blue candle. <coughs> <coughs> Have your riflemen meet me at the castle gates. Thank Understood. you. That is all. Understood. Kyla, mm. let's get your horseman. Yep. <clears throat> One more thing, Lord Earhart. Yes. I don't suppose you have an answer for me in regards to our illness problem. Start doing what you must and keep me apprised. We'll keep this shit out permission. of Victor's hands. Yes, I will do what I can with your permission. If I can, I'd like to start with the bathhouse. 
do so. There, as I mentioned the other day. I'll get some memory ready in the morning. Speak to Miss Basil. She has good connections with most of them. Yes, I will do so. Good man. <coughs> I want his attention. Hey, Lord. Gather the rest of the ferrymen. I have a task for them. I'll meet you at the castle gates. Be up there. <clears throat> Tell God you need your four horsemen. Which one? Uh, probably Drasko. Okay, cool. I'll see you up there. I need to fill you in on what fuckery is occurring, but later. Soon enough. Yep. Okay. Yeah, gotta leave town for a bit. I'll be back later tonight. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Best of luck. Yeah. Don't do anything torty. Well, you know how hard that is. <laughs> I played concertina and got so many people yelling at me within like seconds. I was about to invite you into the forge. I was going to start forging, but then I got pulled into other stuff. <laughs> it would have been yeah. nice to have the company. Dang. But, alas. It would have been really nice. I like your I'm music. I'm sad. <laughs> Be Aww, safe. Thank you. I'll see you later. You too. I'm sorry, but I cannot uh, do that tonight, unfortunately. No, I know. I'm one of the ferrymen at the keep calling for others to group. Do I just call okay, for NPCs? Uh, yep. Gather up in Gigabits module. That's where I'm going to be gathering the outriders and the ferrymen. Or the, um, uh, what are they called? The QRF. Oh, so you don't need me to ask you to do that for you then? <laughs> okay, <Lupus>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. You got that? I'll, I'll jump back up. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll head up to Gig. <laughs> I like Outriders. Outriders is a fucking cool ass name. <clears throat> now I have to pick the music. On another adventure. When am I not? When am I not, Sergeant? Going somewhere? Something like that. Okay. I'm uh, waiting for my QRF. I've heard you've had a bit of a busy day. <sighs> yep. Killer got away. I heard. He was definitely more skilled than I. Flash powder? 
Tibbs was bloodshot all day. Yeah, not just that. He was... Seemed like he was better. More skilled. <clears throat> you think there's more foul play? And yours? I saw you rode out earlier. <clears throat> Went to uh, Corsetto. The Major and I were scolding <laughs> children, as it were. Garrisons weren't playing nice. They are now. <clears throat> you say that until they actually do. Well, I have signed up for a lot more paperwork than I'm used to. I'll be getting daily reports from them now, and if there's anything out of line, I'm going to show up there again <laughs> and fucking drown them. I assume that's how you dealt with things, right? You know the amount of reports I've had to go through. Yeah. This I bet. Front, that front, this <clears> other <throat> front, flanks. Yeah. It's beautiful work. If you're patient, I hated it. I'm patient, but it's just there's a lot more other things I could be doing with my time, you know? It's about time management. You know? mm. Well, we also came back from Baleno. Interesting. A uh, list of demands was sent up to the keep. But I'm sure you'll hear it at some point in a meeting. Probably. Don't suppose they're being reasonable, are they? Well, according to Laudia, their demands were reasonable. <sighs> Laudia's been in bed with them for fucking ages. Book. The only major thing... Yeah. Hey, you want me to pick that up for you? Um... Um, the horse is moving and I can't control my controllers. <laughs> Can you hold the reins, please? Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> we need- we need handbrakes on these things. So, <laughs> There's a button to press, yes, but I, it doesn't matter if I hold down the button. No. If m there's a secret method. Oh. So if you hold down uh -huh. the stop, open the menu, release the stop, close the menu. Yeah. I don't know why it's not working for you. <laughs> it works for me. <clears throat> I don't know. My horse just wants to just go. He wants to go, man. It just wants to. It's very excited. Oh, yes. I would say the only major concern on that you should be worried about. Oh, that menu! Yes, that menu. What menu did you think I was talking about? No, no. Oh. <clears throat> You're welcome. That's the handbrake. Thank you for that. That's actually really mm. fucking handy. Yes, I was ecstatic when I found out about <laughs> it. You were saying? I don't know if I should be telling you, but you're the young lord. Just so you're prepared for it. The only major thing I would see as possible problem for up there is they want a 50% reduction in tax. Until they get back up, and then it's to 15% reduction. 
Which, considering what they've been through, I honestly don't see a problem with it. <clears throat> you haven't met the nobles up there. Oh, I might have met one. Do they wear a black, likes to yell? A lot of them like to yell. Says, fuck foreigners. A lot of them are greedy, yes. Yeah, he was there too. <laughs> what did he have to say about it? That was a private meeting, but there was uh, a lot of yelling. Yeah, I bet. Another reason why I hate politics.